Hey guys, welcome to another Technique Tuesday video. In this week's video, I'm going to discuss the minor 251 and the approach that I take to improvise over the chord progression. I remember early on when discussing the 251, one of the options was to use the harmonic minor scale over top of that. So if I was doing a minor 251 and C minor, then I could just use C minor harm the C harmonic minor over top of that. Of course there's some issues with that. So to really address the chord progression and use the correct notes, let's take a step further and take a look at those chord scales that I use. Alright guys, so the way that I look at a 2-5-1, minor 2-5-1 is a derivative approach. Uh, if you went back to some of my videos or heard me talk about the way that I approach even the major scale and the modes, I use a derivative approach instead of thinking about individual modes. So for example, I wouldn't be thinking about, in a, in a normal, just 2-5-1 in the key of C. I wouldn't be thinking about D Dorian, G Mixolydian, and C major. Instead, what I like to think about are those chord tones that are available to me with each one of those chords passing. And then I think about the bigger picture, what parent scale is available to me. So in this case, uh, the minor 251 is different than just a regular 251. 251 and C, you can think it all being within the tonality of C and then pulling from those chord tones to really separate out those chords to make it sound like you're playing the changes, which you are. The thing with the minor 251 is that I treat each one of the chords as an individual sound. So, for example, a minor 2-5-1 in the key of C, where you have D minor 7 or D with a flat 5, or half diminished. What I'm thinking is um, I'm using my F melodic minor scale over top of that. So I'm thinking of that being uh, what you refer to as the Locrian sharp 2. Now, I encourage you to, you know, make sure that you got the chord tones, that you can play those, because that really plays a significant part in this. But if I'm just thinking about what I would play over that, other notes that are available. I would think about the low green sharp too, so pulling from F melodic minor. When I go to the G7, and I'm trying to think about the alterations, the tensions that I can create. At that point, I'm using A flat melodic minor. And then when I go to my C to resolve the C minor major 7, I'm thinking about the C melodic minor over top of that. All right? So I'd have So if you put that together and you think about that, you know, what would those spell, you know, when you think about the scale choices I'm pulling from, F melodic minor, A flat melodic minor over G7, and a C melodic minor over the C minor major 7, that forms an F minor triad, which is, it's interesting to think about that, you know, to see that. So when I play over this, I am thinking about three separate sounds to really address the individual uh, components of the chord. So uh, this takes some time to implement into your playing. What I would suggest is creating a drone where you isolate every chord from this, each of the three, and you practice applying the specific parent scale to this 
Make sure that you're working on the chord tones. I will say that over and over again. Make sure that you're working on the chord tones to really address the inner workings of what these chords are. But then you have the options of choosing other notes to throw in as well. Isolate these out and then try to put two together. So playing the D minor seven flat five, D half diminished uh, to the G seven, the altered and work on what makes those different. Where's the changes happening? Uh, you can see that if you have, and, and this goes back to the five shapes, the way I see the fretboard. If I have shape three, which would be shape three of the F melodic minor. And then I compare that to A flat. Let me, let me pull that again. So I have back to the F melodic minor. What you want to do is be able to create lines that go over top of that that address that change. guys hopefully you enjoyed this hopefully you can use this information I want to thank you all for watching I want to thank all of you who continue to share my videos or subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel um, if this helps I'm asking that you please spread this to others that may find this useful thanks again for watching guys please subscribe and stay tuned for next week's technique Tuesday video